folks, you got Joe from Seattle Leather Research. Thanks for joining again. Today I've got another review, this one on the Filson Rugged Twill Rucksack. Now Filson was the brand that got me into um, kind of, I don't know, higher end, higher quality, kind of rugged everyday carry bags. Um, so they're kind of the brand that started it all for me. They're based in Seattle. They've got an incredible um, downtown location. If you're ever in Seattle, you should absolutely check it out. It's just a dream in there. It's so cool. Um, they're also known for having uh, goods that are made in Seattle, Washington, and in other folks around the U.S., so USA-made goods, and you can see kind of the production factory out of their Seattle location. Um, I think they even give occasional tours to that location. So um, any of you folks considering a, a trip out to Seattle, please save some time to take a tour of the Filson factory and the store in downtown Seattle and uh, save some money because you're going to want to pick up um, some Filson something, be it their clothing, their bags, um, their wallets, um, all made with Wicket and Craig, Craig leather. Um, they've got good stuff. So about this bag. So this is the Rugged Twill Rucksack. It retails currently for $375. I'm pretty sure that's the price that I got it for um, about two, two and a half years ago now. Uh, this was my everyday carry for about a year and a half. And I also took it to um, Europe on a couple European trips. I believe this was with me in on the beaches of um, northern Peru. Um, I was carrying this around, getting sand all over it. This was with me in um, Kauai as I was hiking um, across some of their um, northern coast, the Nepali coast. So this bag has been with me in many places and it's gotten a lot of wear. So in terms of the specs, so this is made, uh, so the leather that you see here, uh, kind of Filson uh, stamp on it, it is the standard bridal leather that they use for almost all of their bags and in many of their other goods. Um, I've got a Filson um, dog collar for my Golden Retriever made out of this leather. Um, I want to pick up the leash at some point that's made out of um, this exact leather. Uh, it's Wicket and Craig. Uh, it's a U.S. tannery, um, one of the oldest tanneries in the country. Um, still doing things the old-fashioned way. So very, very strong leather. Um, I've never worried about this leather getting... Um, you know, destroyed due to weather or use. I mean, you can tell I've used this and brought this everywhere. It's still really strong. It hasn't stretched out. Um, it still has a good amount of rigidity in the straps. So um, the leather's fantastic. The um, Rugged Twill is something else that all of their kind of bags are are made out of, kind of a very sort of a, a look that and design that Filson made um, fairly famous, at least uh, here in the Northwest. I actually don't know how popular they are elsewhere, but uh, uh, but anyway, the Rugged Twill is very much weatherproof. Um, you can see that it has gone through some disc discoloration due to um, being out in the sun and out in the elements, so it's a little bit darker under the straps where it's had some protection. Um, and actually, here at the bottom, you can see where the twill had um, given out. It's actually gotten destroyed here at the bottom and really started to fray um, along the edges here where there's constant rubbing and, and lots of pressure. Um, one of the good things about Filson is that um, they will repair things for free. I think I did have to pay shipping to their repair department, but um, they guarantee their products for life. So if you've got, you know, this kind of a, a wear and tear out of normal use for the bag, um, they're going to fix that up. And um, actually, fun fact, they will actually, um, for folks who just want a brand new bag, they'll also do that. And they'll still repair the damaged bag. And they'll sell it for sometimes two to three times the cost of the original bag, and people will buy it. Um, so if you go to the Seattle store, you'll actually see their restoration department where folks are making repairs by hand. Um, and uh, they've also got a collection of bags that look a lot like this that are selling for, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars a pop. The exact same bag. Um, so for whatever reason, just the extra rugged sort of torn up look is, is super popular uh for for resale so this is not a great bag if you want to get into the bag 
um, super quickly. So it's nice and secure. It's got the storm flap for extra weather protection. That's really nice, but it uh, is not super easy or fast to get into. So that's uh, something you should just keep in mind. Um, cool Filson logo up at the top there. Good stitching. It'd be cool to have um, some of the uh, stitching, you know, or some of the um, other leather pieces kind of reinforced by um, rivets. So you can see this buckle here has been reinforced with the with the rivet just to hold that together. But it'd be kind of cool to see that um, in certain other places on the bag where the twill is kind of sewn onto the the leather itself. I think that might just add an extra level of protection. And certainly at the cost, um, I mean, three seventy five isn't cheap for a rucksack. Um, you know, perhaps they could do it. But all the fixtures, buttons, buckles are brass. So they're going to be super tough. Nothing's rusting here. You can see the, it's upside down here, but it's solid brass. Call out there, the back of the buckles. It's pretty cool. The, um, there is a magazine slot on the back of this. I've never really used it um, too much, but it's kind of nice to have this extra pocket. And this is, you know, easy to get into, sling it off a shoulder and toss you know, mail, a magazine, um, sometimes my ID badge has, has gone in here, but um, otherwise it is is what it is. So great bridal leather straps, again, no stretching, no tearing, um, some discoloration, you know, just over time. I think if I condition this up, it'd be looking like new, which I'll probably do in a separate video. Um, nice, thick leather pad kind of where your upper shoulders will connect with the bag. So this is really high quality, super strong. Thick leather strap here, same bridal leather. Um, again, you know, having some extra rivets, so they have it here, but having them here kind of along the spine of the bag, I think would give it even more structure and strength and durability. Again, I haven't had any problems with the leather separating. Um, and, and if I did, Filson would fix it, so not that big of a deal, but uh, just something for them to think about. Um, some discoloration here due to a soap that I tried to use on it before I really did a lot of research onto the type of soap that was appropriate for um, this type of twill. You know, eventually that'll go away. Um, if not, not a big deal. Same kind of discoloration here. Um, this would probably drive some people crazy. And I think it's part of the reason why I don't wear it to work as often anymore. Um, but at the same time, um, I think it just it makes it look more rugged, more weathered, and um, super cool. So, you know, I'll use it for some things. Um, or I'll, you know, maybe try to sell it to somebody who also likes something a little more beat up. So again, same kind of bridal leather along the sides here. Brass sort of uh, double zipper with uh, leather sort of keepers here. So take a quick look inside the bag. The zippers are not gonna wear out. Those are gonna be there for, you know, basically forever. And again, if there's any issue, you know, Filson will, Filson will take care of it, so. Um, inside of the bag is, I mean, this was my first experience with the rucksack. I think this is just kind of how they are, but very straightforward. There's nothing in here, just a big kind of open space. Um, see some of the stitching there's no laptop sleeve but it can fit you see some just stains at the bottom of that and where they've gone and repaired um, it can fit a um, large macbook so i've carried my large macbook in this many times along with my work laptop and lots of other stuff it can fit a good amount of, of things so i think you're i think you're going to be good with the size of that there's just no additional organizational pockets anywhere just a big kind of open sack um, front pockets, fairly straightforward. They're pretty generous. You can fit a lot. There's nothing additional inside of them, but um, you know, they've got they've got a good amount of space, and uh, they don't take up. If you shove things in there, they don't take up from the larger interior of the bag, and the straps are definitely going to fit and close them up. So, I think my plans for this bag are to uh, try cleaning it up once more, maybe a uh, condition up the leather get that looking good again and uh you know probably take it back into regular use i think it it looks even better um worn in my opinion though the new bag is still beautiful i'm kind of almost torn between 
you know, do I like this or do I at some point want to replace it with a brand new one? But um, it's a, I think it's an overall, it's a good buy. It's expensive. Um, I think they could have done more with some of the, you know, like I said, um, brass rivet reinforcement, which just make the bag look even more kind of engineered and tough. Um, but overall, it's, it's good. I've gotten a lot of great mileage out of this. And uh, Filson guarantees it for life. So I don't have to worry about that. And it looks really good with stuff inside of it. So right now it's kind of just sort of floppy and a little bit raggy. Um, but uh, once I clean it up, polish it up, and fill it with stuff again, I think it's going to look like a pretty sweet, uh, sweet little backpack. So that is the Filson Rugged Twill Rucksack review. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I try to upload at least one of these videos a week, kind of talking about leather products mostly, but also just kind of everyday carry goods. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.